more VR? everybody how are y'all doing all right before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up that's right i know you got a thumb thumbs up right now all right let's get to the news items for this video the first one a new nintendo switch vr patent has been discovered it was published august 22nd 2019 and do you want to see it? I got you covered. Here it is, right here, boop. Now, it's very similar to what they currently have on the market with Labo VR, the cardboard VR set, where you insert the actual Switch console into the actual lenses, but there seems like there may be some improvements. I read somewhere where it has better padding for your forehead, but you still are going to have to hold it with the Joy-Cons. We'll have to see what comes of this patent. I have to say, I'm not real big on VR, man. There's no VR game that's really drew me in. Really like, oh, I got to get VR for Flying Red Birds. So, um, a new patent for Switch VR has been discovered. <laughs> PlayStation has their PlayStation VR. But... <coughs> I don't never hear Sony talking about the sales of their VR product. I wonder how well that's doing. I don't know if they're going to, even if Sony's going to implement that somehow into the PlayStation 5. Microsoft was talking about VR for like five seconds. And then they, they're like, nope, <laughs> we're not jumping on this ship. And so Nintendo does have a new patent for virtual reality. We'll have to see what comes of it. It looks like it's just going to be an improvement on um, the Labo, Nintendo Labo VR. But will it be cardboard? Will it actually be a more quality VR product? Time will tell. Are you interested? Let me know, bro. The next news item. First, there's a new trailer for Borderlands 3. Here it is. The game comes out. On September 13th, it's right around the corner and reviews are starting to come in. Now, the game is coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And overall, the reviews have been good. But some reviews have been very critical of the game. PC Gamer gave it a 63 out of 100. Polygon said... The third time's a chore. That's their review score. And they're pretty much saying, if you're a Borderlands fan, you're getting more of the same thing. Now, I've never played a Borderlands game. It looks cool, but those are just the negative reviews. There are more positive reviews than negative. Shaq News gave it a 9 out of 10. Game Informer, on former, which they usually do pretty good reviews, gave it an 8 out of 10. <coughs> Destructoid gave it a 9 out of 10, and US Gamer gave it a 4 out of 5, which is 80, or 8 out of 10. And so, it looks like it's going to be a solid game, but there's so many games to play right now. I am on a heavy 2K, NBA 2K badge grind right now. We need those shooting badges, bro. Don't go to the park if you can't, if you don't have any badges, bro. GG Dory, you got to be able to shoot and you can't shoot without any badges. But Gears, I haven't even touched Gears yet. Tonight on Twitch, follow me on Twitch. Actually, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, Mixer, and on Twitter all at the same time. I'm going to be playing Gears 5 for the first time with the members, the sponsors of the OGC. And so, can't wait to play the game. I've been hearing real good things about Gears 5. So, we're going to be trying out the online multiplayer for the first time tonight, boy. But that's why I don't know if I'm getting Borderlands 3. So many games. I might end up getting it. 
We'll have to see. I might pull the trigger. It'll have to be the night before, bro. So Borderlands 3 comes out in a matter of days. All right, bro. A new Resident Evil game has been announced. This is a teaser. It's, it's called Project Resistance. I don't know if that's going to be the final name, but... It's a multiplayer focused Resident Evil game. You see this? You're on a team taking out zombies. Resident Evil is known for slow paced, suspenseful. You're isolated, it's dark, and you have to take out zombies all by yourself. But this game is going to be a Resident Evil game um, focused on multiplayer more than likely it's going to be online multiplayer um so interesting to see <coughs> um how this um plays out more information of the game but this is the teaser trailer and it's called project resistance project resistance coming to a system near you if there's no release date no um there may be some more information on this game at Capcom's um, Tokyo Game Show panel on September 12th to the 15th. So keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in it. It's called Project Resistance Resident Evil Multiplayer Style. Next news item. Speaking of multiplayer, probably the most popular multiplayer game on the planet. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The betas are about to roll out. The second wave of betas. PlayStation 4 did have an exclusive beta um, a couple weeks ago. But this beta in September will be for all systems. And Sony must have paid a lot of money. First on PlayStation. September 12th through the 13th. That's when Borderlands drop. Oh, way to, show, to throw shade on Borderlands. Um, three three days from now, if you pre-ordered Mo uh, Modern Warfare on your PlayStation 4, you get to play in the um, first beta, the pre-order beta, September 12th through the 13th. September 14th through 16th will be the PlayStation 4 open beta, and then <coughs> everybody gets to play PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 4 September 19th through 20th will be the pre-order beta for PC, Xbox One, and the open beta for the PlayStation. And September 21st through the 23rd will be the open beta for everyone. The 21st to the 23rd is the big one where anybody can play the game. So <coughs> they must be real confident in their game if they're having so many um, betas. And bro, when I say the 21st to the 23rd is going to be a big beta... It doesn't matter what system you get Call of Duty on this year. It, for the first time, will have cross-play. Cross-play between PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Interesting to see if they're going to have cross-play with the PC. Um, we'll have to see. That mouse and keyboard, bro. But cross-play is coming. Um, and the beta is coming to Call of Duty. All right. And the last news item your mind is about to be all these years all these years i thought this was the x button i thought this was the x button it's really a cross look it sort of looks like a cross i mean it is it, it, sony has come out and said, uh, specifically um, PlayStation's UK account, that the X button is actually a cross and not an X. All this time, we thought it was a, a cross. I mean, an X, but it's actually a cross. Just an interesting tidbit. But <laughs> I could imagine, probably because uh, they don't want to maybe offend anyone, religious regions, they probably just... Um, <laughs> Turned the circle and made it an X. <laughs> so we got the triangle, square, circle, and X button. Hey, the more you know. You see? You come to Obi-Wan's channel, 
and you get so much smarter. Where's my more do you know blurb? Where is it? Oh, it didn't work. Yes, it did. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, everything's delayed. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out.